hello everyone in this session we will discuss about the parameters in the parameter what are the parameters available in the three phase induction motor parameters in three phase induction motor that means what are the important things we have to remind it what are the what are the, the that that is useful to understand the three phase induction motor okay. so in this parameters so generally when we are analy analyzing the any three phase induction motor you should always analyze like this you should always from stator stator side and as well as the rotor side so stator have stator parameters and rotor have rotor parameters okay now we can take it as stator means we are giving the input and the rotor induction three phase induction motor always it is called as a output so that's why input side parameters we have and as well as output side parameters okay first input side parameters in the input side parameters the first thing is we are giving for the input stator we are always giving input to the stator so we can name it as stator input the stator input is input voltage that is the root 3 times v1 i1 and cos pi 1 root 3 times v1 i1 cos pi 1 v1 is line voltage the name itself it is a line voltage i1 is the line current line current and cos pi 1 is the input power factor cos pi 1 is the input power factor okay this is the stator side important parameter and generally we have stator side we have the core losses that will be having like this the stator copper losses the stator copper loss value is like this the stator copper loss equal we can give it as i1 square into r1 okay i1 is you know that stator current stator current r1 is stator resistance stator means you know the input resistor uh, stator resistance stator resistance means the supply is the field resistance we can name it as okay so in this the common thing is the next thing is we already discussed input power factor this is also an important factor that is the input power factor the input power factor equal represents with the cos phi 1 it is the cosine angle between the supply voltage and the stator current supply voltage and the stator current so these are the general formulas regarding the input side or we can call it as the input side parameters input side parameters those are stator input and stator copper losses and input power factor next rotor side parameters so in the rotor side parameters first we will look at the air gap power that means that is the input power for the rotor so the air gap power is like this air gap power we can take this is the air gap power yeah so generally the air gap power uh, we have some value mm, the air gap power generally the formula is like this the air gap power we have some formula is given by the formula is i2 dash square into r2 dash by s r2 dash by s this is general air gap power formula we can calculate by using the two methods we can calculate this air gap power by two methods the first we have some method the case one the case one first if you calculating the i2 dash then it will be very easy 
by calculating i2 dash it will be very easy then i so by calculating i2 dash is we have some direct formula that formula equal to so we should discuss again this formula i2 dash equal so we have some formula i1 into z2 by z2 plus z3 so we should calculate later we should analyze later so this is by the modified equivalent circuit this formula is we will get by modified equivalent circuit modified equivalent circuit okay so for case 2 how we can calculate this air gap power in the case of case 2 so for case 2 for case 2 the air gap power can be calculated by some equation so the air gap power air gap power calculated by equation we have some equation that equation equal to i1 square rf okay here how it is the air gap power equal to 3 times of i1 square into rf yes okay so i1 is the current and rf is the air gap power we should calculate that values okay and the second second point is we have to calculate is the electromagnetic torque the electromagnetic torque is tem the electromagnetic torque is tem that value equal generally the air gap power after getting the air gap power by the speed synchronous speed so here the you know air gap power omega s is the synchronous speed of flux that will be represented by 2 pi n s by 60 2 pi n s by 60 okay so you know the relation between the synchronous speed and normal speed that is n r equal always n s into 1 minus s the rotor speed equal synchronous speed into 1 minus s okay next third point what is the third thing we have to calculate the third thing we have to calculate is gross mechanical power developed a gross mechanical power developed we are already find out some air gap power we have some ratio that ratio is air gap power into 1 minus s air gap power into 1 minus s we will calculate the air gap power by using this formula so after calculation of the air gap power we will find out the gross mechanical power developed that is air gap power into 1 minus s okay so you know how to calculate the slip the slip value once again ns minus nr by ns this is the slip okay next after finding the gross mechanical power developed we will find out the net power the net power the net power equal to gross mechanical power developed minus we will do the by doing removing the frictional losses frictional and windage losses we have two losses one is frictional another one is the windage losses plus we will remove the stator core losses and we can call it as the stator core losses stator core loss so by removing this we will get the net mechanical power developed net mechanical power means gross mechanical power developed okay from this the net mechanical power is by removing the losses we will get the net mechanical power developed okay and after that we will find out efficiency after that we will find out the efficiency how we will find out the efficiency efficiency equal 
output power by input power. What is final output power? So we can name it as final output is the net power by the state R input. So net P net is the net power developed simply net power developed. Okay. And PSE is the state R input. State R input power. State R input power. So by doing the ratio of net power to state R input power, we will get the directly efficiency of the three phase induction motor. This is the efficiency of the three phase efficiency. Okay. And after getting this, we will get the net torque also. We will find out net torque. And this is the efficiency. Net torque. Torque net equal to net power by rota speed. Net power by rota speed. By doing this, we will get the net torque. And you know how to find out the rota speed. Already we discussed about rota speed equal to 2 pi nr by 60. You know the rota speed nr equal to ns minus 1 minus s. So these are the rotor parameters. These are the rotor parameters. That means air gap power, torque and grass mechanical power developed and net power and the efficiency net torque and the speed what about state are parameters that is air gap power and remaining is the rotor current remaining is the this is the current i2 dash current okay so these are the state are these are the input side parameters that means state side parameters and in the state side we should calculate state are input state are copper losses input power factor and rotor side we have air gap power and these are the formulas okay so this is about the parameters regarding the three phase induction motor i hope all of you understand the session thank you